guys, what's up? I'm back with you uh, with a new video. And today, I have something really important to share. You guys could obviously see from the title, this is my 56th video. And this is something really important. I want to tell you guys how I got into YouTube. So, so guys, getting into YouTube for, with, for me wasn't that easy. Like, it, it was really hard at first but i had people to depend on to help me mainly my friend and stuff like that but during this video it's a really important video that's why i said it as a premiere so i can see it with you guys so yeah so it's lively but obviously i'm not recording the same day i posted this I, i'm recording this like about because i this would be on saturday and right now it's monday so like about mm, five five days five days ago of the this is uh, when i'm recording this on a monday so if you guys like this video please make sure to like and subscribe hit post notifications follow me on instagram right here follow me on twitter right here and yeah guys i hope you enjoy this premiere some friends were cut off you know it's for me to get here what i where i am today and i'll mention that in the video so you guys know who was who and who helped me and who didn't you know, you guys will find all of that out during my video and also during the video there's little cuts of my old youtube channel it's yahtzee not it's yahtzee plays but the original it's yahtzee if you guys want to go check out that channel and give me some love and support please go there will be like a link below so you guys can go click that link if you if you want to you don't have to but please make sure to subscribe if you're new. And the subscribe will give me some support because this is a very hard video to do. It'll take me over like a couple days to do it. So, you know, for the culture, for the content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So guys, I'm here to talk about my YouTube origin story in this tab. So I'm just basically going to tell you guys how I started YouTube. So I basically started YouTube from my dad. He influenced me to do it. And it's a good thing to do on my free time. So I did my first video with that. And by the time I was on my It's Yahtzee channel, my old alt account channel, my friend Mason, he wanted to do YouTube with me as well because he, he already started YouTube. But unfortunately, I don't. I haven't really talked to him in a while. But I'm not gonna go into details with that. I'm not gonna tell his full name so y'all don't look him up or anything. But yeah, he wanted me to start doing YouTube with him, so I did that. And then um, we started doing YouTube together. Sometimes like there's an Easter egg hunt one. So guys, now I'm gonna discuss how I started playing games. So I used to be playing on my Xbox 360, and games I would play is like Injustice, Gods Among Us, uh, Castle Crashers, and Minecraft, okay? And sometimes Call of Duty if my cousins came over. But other than that, that was it. That was before Fortnite Battle Royale. And I used to love play the, playing those games on the Xbox 360, and then, a person who first who bought me my first Xbox was my mom. It was my Xbox. It was an Xbox One, and then my dad bought me the Xbox One S, and so did my mom for Christmas. So that was something also that enhanced my gaming even more. That's what also like made me a really good gamer, and I enjoy gaming thanks to them. Cause you know gaming is fun and something I can do on my free time, such as playing Roblox, Minecraft, Fortnite Battle Royale. Or any other games like Call of Duty or Castle Crashers, you know, stuff like that. So, guys, I want to talk about playing with friends. The first friend I've ever played with was Mason. And you can see his username on the top, Mason Swagger 11 the athlete on Roblox and High. You can see me and him typing in the chat. But... Basically, guys, we were just playing Roblox, and we got, like, 187-some views on it and a couple of likes. So, thank you to the people who did that. But I just want to tell you guys about playing with friends. It's very fun on YouTube to include your friends. Like, it, it was fun for me, and I really enjoyed it. Just sometimes you don't always have to include your friends because, you know, they may just do it just to get views. 
sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes they try to help your channel, help your channel grow. I honestly don't know. But yeah, guys, I'm going on to the next section. So now, guys, I want to talk about Fortnite Battle Royale being introduced. It was a really important game for me. This video recording was, like, taken in, in back in, like, Season 9 or 10. But I honestly don't remember. I think it was Season 9. Or, yeah, I think it's Season 9. I, I don't remember. But I, just, I, I want to tell you guys, I started playing Fortnite since, like, Season 3. And ever since then, it's been, like, a very fun game to me. Before, from like season three and a little bit of season four, I barely played it and I, I didn't like it that much. My friends influenced me to try it out as soon as it came out. And then I, I decided to download it on my Xbox because it was free. And then I, did, I decided to play it. I've been a default ever since season, ever since I started. And I got my first skin in season six and my first battle pass in season seven. So that's that's one reason why my favorite season is season seven, because that's the first time I've ever gotten the battle pass before, and it's a it's a monumental occasion for me. But I want to go into the aspects of Fortnite. If you guys don't know, which if you're watching my channel, you will know. But for people who are watching my channel and don't know, I'll tell you about Fortnite. It's basically a battle royale game where there's a hundred people in one lobby, and you have to be the one. To, to uh to outlast all of the opponents and that you have to do that in order to win the game. You can do that by shooting people with different guns such as pistols, sniper rifles, assault rifles, uh shotguns and submachine guns. Or you can use building you can use building tactics and you use the uh the pickaxe to mine stuff. So that's that those are some of the key aspects of Fortnite. You can see by this video clip right here that there's a live stream that I was doing back on my It's Yahtzee channel. Not It's Yahtzee Plays. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But that was my It's Yahtzee channel, which is a very old channel. And that's been around for like two years or so. But anyways, guys, I'll move on to the next section. guys now i'm going to be talking about how it's yahtzee plays took over and this is my main channel for the future so basically i stopped using it's yahtzee and i replaced it with the it's yahtzee plays at first it was it's yahtzee plays fortnite and it was going to be only solely based off of fortnite videos but i decided to take that off because it was too long of a youtube name but Anyways, guys, I'll tell you why it's now my main channel and why I didn't keep It's Yahtzee. One reason is because, you know, I'm tired of It's Yahtzee. It's an old channel. And the second reason why is because my friend Mason is on there and he's on some of my videos. And I decided to leave those ties with him in the past. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my first video on excuse me, It's Yahtzee Plays on my channel. It's Yahtzee Plays Fortnite. Today, it will be my first YouTube Fortnite video, so my first YouTube video, and I will be posting daily videos, and um, so yeah, I'll be posting daily videos, so make sure to go hit that subscribe button, and to hit that bell so you never miss a video, and make sure to like so I can like do all these videos, and, and yeah. So y'all, we're gonna be playing some solos. We're gonna be playing some Team Rumble. We're also gonna be playing some of the arena in the cup. And y'all, we will. So guys, right here in this video, you see my first ever live stream it was really important for me to do it is on my 22nd or 23rd video you see my brother acting like a clown as always and i'm here getting mad but anyways talking about my first live stream it was really fun for me to do because you know i've not, I, I was like still newly introduced to youtube that was like my 20 20th or 22nd or 23rd video so since you a lot of people watched it and you guys viewed it that was really special to me and i thank those who did and if you didn't then make sure to go do that okay i'll leave a link below for my first video my 50th video and my first live stream. Awkward. 
it's finished it just ended i'm gonna put the camera down so guys right here you see how i first started vlogging and this is my family movie theater vlog and normally we have movie nights on fridays and saturdays on the weekends so i decided to like vlog that instead of just doing fortnite videos because at first i thought everybody was just getting bored of that so i decided to do my first vlog with my mother and my brother and it was really fun to do. I honestly enjoyed it. And I enjoyed you guys seeing what I did for family night. But obviously, my dining table looks way different from how it did back then. I'll show you guys in a second. But yeah, my whole kitchen looks different from how it did back then when I was doing the family movie theater vlog. But yeah, it was extremely fun. And I thought I would do my own vlog for a change instead of depending on other people to help me. And I also edited it on my own and recorded it on my own. So it was really fun and, and time consuming to do that. But you know, for the culture, for the content, anything for you guys. But yeah, let's get to the next section. So guys, I'm gonna introduce you to my anime or origins tab, and which is really interesting, you know, because all of you guys really like my anime series, and I just wanted to tell you guys how that occurred and how that started. So basically, what happened was that my friend Derek, when I was in the sixth grade, he always watches Naruto whenever he can, and then I was like, "What's going on?" And it was the fourth grade Ninja World arc, and I'm like, "What's going on? That's just boring." fighting but then he said it was it may be boring to you but it was it isn't boring to him and i started watching and i'm like who okay who is that because i only the only people i knew out of naruto at that time was naruto and sasuke that was it like i didn't even know you know zetsu gara iruka shikamaru i don't know ino i don't know nobody as you can see from this one of these one of my anime series you can see that I'm reacting to the top 10 saddest Naruto moments. And, you know, if I if I didn't see him watching anime or any type of Naruto, I don't think I would be watching anime today. Straight up. And I hope he sees this video because, you know, him watching anime and me seeing that like a year ago in sixth grade, you know, that really influenced me to watch Naruto. And not only watch Naruto, I watch a bunch of animes too. Like Boruto, Dead Alive, uh, I'm trying to watch Nagami. I don't really know if I should. Put it in the comment section below if you watch Nagami. Um, I watched Death Note, One Piece, a little bit, a very little bit of One Piece, because it's long. And I know everybody's talking about the One Piece debate that, oh, Naruto is long, but One Piece is longer, because Naruto is like 500 episodes, One Piece is like 800 something. And I got a life to live, you know? But anyway, guys, I'll introduce, I'll introduce you to my next tab. So guys, you can obviously see my 50th video live stream. At the time when I recorded that, well, when I was streaming, I was at my dad's house and I was playing on his like his TV and the Xbox was connected. So I knew I had to do my 40 live, my 50th video live stream. And it took me a while because at first I didn't know how to work Streamlabs mobile. Because a lot of people said to use Streamlabs OBS, but like I don't have that type of time to be doing stuff with it. So I had to figure out my stream key and then connect that. And then now you guys can obviously stream, see my stream. And after the stream is, I, I ended the stream, I put the thumbnail and then made a description so so you guys can check out the video and check out the description and after the stream is done it just turns into a regular video but it's a long video like an hour long video so as i've explained numerous of times that has been like a big milestone for me for me like when i tell you big i mean big because that's my 50th video right there y'all and you you don't know how how long it took like that's a whole year i spent on youtube even after my friend left me, like, still, I, I decided to persevere. So, you know, that's that's one reason why it was, this, this video was really important to me and why Fortnite is important to me. So even though people are saying that the game is dying, I don't think so because Fortnite 
introduced me to a whole new world of gaming and I want to keep that world of gaming up so I can I can make more content for you guys. And yeah. Now let's get to the next scene. Yeah. That's the whole video. It took me a while to do and I'm really excited to upload it. Sorry, I'm having a bit of an itch. But I'm really excited to upload it for you guys to see so we can watch it together because it's not just the community it is it, well, it's not just the upload it's not just the content creator it's the content creator and the community to make a better place on the youtube channel so i thank you guys for all of your support because i can't do this alone so yeah guys if you have any questions put it in the live chat it's either gonna be on the right or the left or inverse i honestly don't really know but anyways, guys, I will see you all later. Thank you for watching on this live video. And I am so thankful for everyone that stopped by on my channel and everyone that subscribed. And, yeah, peace out.